Hello everyone, Lek here, and welcome back to another episode of Lek Plays Pillars of Eternity. Okay, so as promised, we are right back where I was. I didn't do anything, um, I didn't explore any room that I didn't explore last time, right before dying. So, everything should be fine. Uh, now, I've been thinking about this, uh, since I haven't been playing. And I think that my best option at the moment uh, might be to have this guy hunting. Yeah, I've been thinking about this, and I think that my best option for now is nice have everyone quiet. go hey. stealth and have my main tough guy just quietly move hey it's just you isn't it okay so Francis. okay now you run back da -da 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 -da. okay only two of them are coming cool perfect so how do we change I don't remember how to quick check. Oh, there it is. Alright. So, oh no, three of them are coming. Alright. Now, you go take down this bastard. Oh, I also, one difference, I rested before doing all this. I rested because, obviously, I didn't want to yes. not have all my spells. So that I can do this now. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Fucking Um. Okay, you know what? Run. And now, flame again. You attack this one. Come on, go attack that one. Shit! Okay, uh, I can still do this. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys, we can do this. Yes. Okay. Um, not as good as I hoped, but still okay. Indeed. Okay, so now should be fine to go in, I hope. I should probably save just in case. So save, save. Okay, thank you. A powerful odor spi spirit. A haze fills the air, coalesce coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into this, the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight is the sense, within you, of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill out, uh, to spill into you your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges toward and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a br is a brightly lit stone corridor lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running. Your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals and are slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late again. The ride's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell and your spirit lifts as you recognize the familiar warped tone of the right hand. So, right hand. Represented the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. So, the right one is the first and the last. The light fades, as does the memory. And when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Women dies in grain. Okay. I got and a little bit of money. And there's actually nothing else here unless... Keep an eye on. Let me just have a quick look for anything secret. 
secret that might be around here. Nope. Everything is in plain sight. Hmm. So I have the first and the last and the middle one because the biggest one, if I remember correctly, from the parchment that I found should have been the second one. But I'm still missing something. So let me go quickly here to continue to explore this section and let's see what I can find. I don't really need to move silently. Now I do. Now I want to, at least. Okay, easy now, exactly. Spider! Well, I can just kill him. Boom! Oh, come on! Alright. Hey, more spiders! Just how I like it. Okay, um, let's do like this, yes. shall we? Most mother. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to heal. Oh, you just heal yourself? Hmm. There's a problem with getting from the ground and inflicts throw damage and this is targeting the area. Yes. Alright, ouch. Now, yes, I should heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aww, oh, Susie. I'm gonna Damn die for freaking spiders. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on! You can do it. Ah, come on, Eden. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Oof. All right. I'm that here. didn't go as planned, like, at all. So... Uh, should I... Should I not? I'll try to see if I manage to go on a little bit more. Like I am now. Oh, for fuck's sake, another Arab spire. Seriously. Okay, let's start with the... Potent stuff first. Also, you go to two and attack, and you yes. just stay put. Actually, why are you using that stuff? Let's use this one. That's it. Well, here. that was enough, apparently. Okay, so we have this the red brown smears flake way under the toe of your boot. Hmm. Not sure I like all this, but. I'll see what I can find. Let's see what we found. Oh god, another one. The nipper crystal light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange and a certain and at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its ripping gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Ah, uh, who are you? Your voice sparks movement, the spirit surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you are somewhere else, your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapel hall, priests and faithful have gathered in great crowd. Spilling into the hall, the hall, bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the face around you. Some of the initiate, initiates are weeping. Someone has nuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man is shouting, voice so racked with fear you cannot understand what they say, but the Rectrix stand calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. 
the spirit tears itself from you with sudden dizzying force and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying the spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared okay alrighty then what the hell was that okay I can yeah, I still have that part to check. I'll see what I can find. Let's go quietly. Because creatures are in kind of abundance here. And in fact, there's a will o wisp. Okay, Aye. so hopefully the will o Ouch. Hey. Okay. Leave it to me. Yes. Oh, fudge, just two of them. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully, I can make it. So, sorry, what? Did it freaking teleport? Oh god. That was not a good idea, and I didn't save! Again! But at least. My man here is not dead yet, so I will heal myself. A bit at least. Ouch! Confused again. Well, they don't really do much, much damage. Where is it going to reappear? No, I shall. it's gone. Okay, cool. Yes. So nice and quiet. Yeah, nice and quiet. Uh, the parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon faded. In this time of hardship, hardship must have just as much faith in ourselves. As we have in our god, maybe something on that. Okay, um, I'll get back here as quickly as I can and then come back to you guys. So, see you in a moment. Alright, and we're back. So, now let's see what I can do with this. Three bells hang from the stone protrusions that run along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There's one large bell at the center, flanked by two smaller ones. Examine the bells. The bells appear to be fully intact. They are made of thick iron and look very heavy. There doesn't appear to be much out of the ordinary about them. Okay, so right. The bell sounds a strange warbling pearl that grows to a painful shrillness before it diminishes to a mournful chime. You heave at the bell, and it, and it's in its swing. Back, uh, sorry. You heave at the bell, and as it swings back in the other direction, the clapper strikes a low, powerful note against the heavy iron. You feel the ringing in your chest as the sound moves through the ruined holes of the rolling tide. In a rolling tide. The bell tolls a high, piercing note of startling power. The tone echoes merrily through the hall, until it seems that a dozen chirping notes ring through the temple. The peculiar chime rings through the ruins. There's a quiet melodic chime from all three bells before they, the discordant voices meet in one powerful rising rush of sound. It seems to fill the whole of the temple, a driving flood of song that drowns all the other thought. All other thought. As the rolling, as the tolling fades, you hear a creak from the direction of the door as the passage to the lower levels swing open. Okay, now I save. Yes, and I will also rest very quickly. Yes. Okay, no nightmares. Yay! 
All right, well, well rested. I shall be discreet. And so, ah, uh, wait, let me choose my, there we go. Uh, Hope you're not expecting much. Hey. Well, man, I expect you to be kind of the tank. Oh, okay. So we just go down. Yeah. Find the remains of the Ethosian priests. Shh. Shh. Okay. Now it's strange looking back. All the time I spent here growing up, never seeing what was coming. Eh, that tends to happen sometimes. Hey. Okay, so let's be Leave it practical to me. about this. Cool. Change. All attacks. All right. Back then. Come on, die! Die, you bastard! Okay. Mm, if these are undead, maybe I should switch. Hey. I mean, I think they are undead. They don't really get the the whole uh, protection things. Probably they should look a little bit better at the tooltips of the enemies. But anywho. Alright, so I have this door and that door. Where shall I go? I'll go here because probably it's a smaller uh, room. And. Might be quick. Eeker. Hmm. Okay. So, like before. Fudge. These ones are quick, quick, quick. Ah, uh, wait. You have to kind of come here. Okay. No. Jesus. Ah, oh, come on. Gee, boots. Okay. Ooh, I'm not in a good shape, like at all. Okay, now it's better. Come on, damage reduction eight, immune disease, immune disease, ground hobbled, poison, and what kind of damage reduction is that? I can't see which one is the type of damage that doesn't do much. Oh, it's just a general eight damage reduction. All right. I'm here. What? What the actual? Okay, well, I got a necklace. Yay! Oh, because I have it. Mm, I'll have this open in no time. I mixed them up. It's done. Uh, fine pike. There you go. Okay, let me just have a look at the well at the pike. Just fine. So, oh, point eight weapon reach, plus four accuracy, plus fifteen percent damage, and this is fifteen max endurance. Uh, I can always use more endurance, but that's a neck thing, so it would go like here, I guess. Uh, what does your cape do? Nothing, so you get this one. He is the tank. So, always. Uh, e Always dress your tanks first. Sorry, I blanked out a little bit there. Uh, 
Die, please. Thank you. Gorge. I'll see what I can find. Okay, so this one goes back directly with this one. Ah. Not one of these bastards. Well, go sneak attack! Ah, damage reduction. Ah, mostly to magic. Oh, fudge. Spiritual studio, okay. Keeping an eye on. Yeah, let's. Ooh. He decided to teleport, okay. Come on. Oh, okay. That was good. Okay, so it seems that this thing now opens up a lot. So I don't really want to get to that right now, also because I'm basically out of time. So I'll close this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching, as always. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, I invite you to like the video, share it so others can also enjoy it. And if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. It doesn't cost anything and it makes me happy. And leave comments as well down below in the comment section. I always like to see comments in my videos and I always reply. Also, if you want to have more ways to follow me, you can find my social network accounts links in the description of the video down below as well. So again, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Ciao!